Chris Tim got a couple of stories that I'm really interested in. First of all, he just told us briefly he had to go get something notarized yesterday, UPS. Mm-hmm. And listen to what some jack wagon did. His term, not mine, but boy, when he said, I was like, that is a jack wagon. It's a jack move. wagon move. It's a jack wagon move yeah. to make. Uh, I had to go to, uh, there's a UPS store that offers notarized ing because they do all kinds of stuff like that package ing. Mm hmm. Yeah, mail ink, ship yeah. ink, yes, yes, notarized yes. ink. Yeah, so I, that's where I've had to go because the person who works here, who was a notary, wasn't working. That's right. And so I go to the store, and I, they've moved. Mm -hmm. They're like five doors down from where they used to be. Mm -hmm. So I, I get back in my car and I drive, you know, across the shopping center to mm -hmm. where the new location is. And I re I hear my foot stick. I can feel my foot sticking to the floor mm -hmm. of the UPS store, and I think, well, that's weird. I must have stepped in mm -hmm. soda or something. Yes. Well, look, as the young lady is notarizing my document, I look down. I've stepped in chewing gum. 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 Some jack wagon. His term, not mine. Spit gum. On in the year 2022, onto a sidewalk That's in a right. shopping center, a popular mm -hmm. lifestyle center. So I get back to my car, and I've already driven mm -hmm. you know, a couple hundred yards from one location to the other. Mm -hmm. It's all over my floor mat. Uh -huh. It's all over the brake pedal. Yep. It's all over the accelerator. Yep. Jack wagon big, material. Big time jack wagon. And you know what I want? I want video of everybody that walked through that area in the last 24 hours <laughs> and to whoever. You know what's out there? Of course it's out there. You know they're on video. Whoever's doing it, just spit yeah. it right out. That's exactly right. I want that. I want somebody's ass in my briefcase over this one. Mm -hmm. I cannot stand that. I was seething. I had to wear my old shoes in this morning. Mm -hmm. You seeing that, Dave? Yeah, there's it's a notary. old shoes. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's right. There's a notary at the bank that'll do it for free. You don't have to pay for it. And there's no gum in the parking lot. <laughs> 100%, Thanks, Uncle Dave. Hundred percent, not the point. <laughs> <laughs> that is not it at all. Absolutely, could be gum in any parking lot because jack wagons will spit gum mm -hmm. out. That's right. Again. Just throw cigarettes out. Yeah, Dave does they that. They don't stick. Now, second thing Chris Dem's upset about is he's had and he just flamed the New York Times on Twitter. I didn't want to do. I didn't want it to come to this, but I had to. My father, as you guys know, mm -hmm. grew up in Brooklyn and always considered himself a New Yorker. Yes. He was a citizen of the world, lived in the South many years of his life. But he, at heart, was and will always be a New Yorker. That's right. So he read the New York Times, cover to cover. That's right. Until he, you know, he started to deteriorate. He mm -hmm. wasn't able to read it. So his subscription lapsed mm -hmm. maybe four years ago. And you got rid of it. We stopped getting the paper. Well, his bills, we took over, my wife and I took over his bills because he was unable to take care of those things for himself. Mm -hmm. So his mailing address is ours. Right. Once a month, without fail, the New York Times sends him a letter to our address mm -hmm. that says, hey, you notice you haven't resubscribed. You want to resubscribe? <laughs> and I've written them no less than six times. Please remove yes. this name and address from your mailing list. Yes. This person is deceased. Yes. So I finally had to take it to Twitter and said, look, mm -hmm. uh, mailing isn't working. Look, Maybe social media will. Let me tell you what I did. This is a very similar thing. Recently, I made an ill-advised landscaping purchase. <laughs> oh, yes, most... you did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> most people know. All right. Mm -hmm. Recently, I made an ill-advised landscaping purchase. Yes, you did. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody knows about it. It's like, yes, you can. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's like I did. When, it's, it's like one of those things where, mm. like, when it snows around here, everybody knows. Okay, all right. It's all people can talk about. That's I'm, all they talked about. I'm not going to revisit it. Okay. What's it been a month now? Uh, yeah, not quite three, three weeks or so. I know it was a Tuesday. I think it's been three. I know it was a Tuesday. <laughs> a dog barked in the distance. <laughs> yes. Anyway, still fresh. Oh yeah. So. Uh, my wife said it's time for us to beef up security. Now, keep in mind, no security could have stopped that. They, uh, they, yeah. you know, I opened the door. I was scammed out of hundreds and hundreds, thousands of dollars. If this was an airline disaster, mm -hmm. the fault would be simply two words: human error. Hey, no question about it. And one human. Is in error. That's all there is. You know, you welcome them into your bank account. No it's cameras, no lasers, yeah, no. nothing. Nothing would have no, stopped nothing. that incident. But my wife said it's time to beef up security. And what can I say? Fine, mm -hmm. do it. You know, let's let's do it. We have a security system, okay? But she says I want state of the art. I want this better. I want it to come double out. down. I want to double down on security. I said okay, all right. So we're doing that. We're spending money on security, and I. And I'm glad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. That's through gritted teeth. 
<laughs> okay. So we had, this is similar to your New York Times story. We had a, an appointment with a company, a big security company. All right. I'll just say that. And it's, it, but it's not, I don't think you can guess what it is, but it's a pretty big name. My wife was doing a lot of research and she found, all right, here's a, here's a one we can. This, this is the one where I've chosen. Well, at least we had several out. I see. Okay. 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 To upgrade our security system. Oh, yeah. You got weaknesses all over this place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a danger zone right here. I'm going to need a camera here. <laughs> Look, if I'm standing in the shadow, you can't even see me. <laughs> Let's start with the front door. <laughs> you come out this door right here, I can karate chop you right in the neck. You're down before you even know it. <laughs> Bam. I'm inside the house. Well, they're the experts. They yeah. are. Yeah. Uh -huh. They are the experts. So you have you the call this a door? We have the appointment. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a door. <laughs> it's a Dutch door. <laughs> this might as well be paper. Yeah. This might as well be made of paper. We had a few out. Now, the third was supposed to come uh, maybe two weeks ago, on a Saturday. They were supposed to come on a Saturday. The whole thing Just is for a look see. They they do a look see. They look around and they they give see, you an estimate. That's right. And they say, "Well, you need camera here. You need motion detector here. You know, we're going to upgrade this area. All this kind of stuff." And then they give you an estimate. Exactly. So my wife calls somebody out on a Saturday, and we see the truck pull up near the driveway, and then stop, and then circle around, and we see the driver of the van lean out the door now across the street from our house, do something that we couldn't really tell what had been done, and drive away. And that was very odd. They didn't come to the door. So we were like, what's going on there? But it had the big name of the security company on the side of the van. So it's like, what's going on here? That's really strange. Yeah. So about an hour later, we get a call from the company. Actually, from the woman herself. It was the woman. The who, driver. The driver. And she said, I apologize. I pulled up right next to your driveway and got violently ill. And I said, really? Uh, yeah, we saw your van. And she goes, I had to circle through the area there, the cul-de-sac, and vomit out the side of the door. <laughs> the door. Is that why she stuck her head out? That's why she stuck her head I'll out. I'll be there in five. <laughs> so there's a pile of vomit in your cul-de-sac. Have right. you got any ginger ale crackers? <laughs> she told me that. Do you have a hose? Yeah. <laughs> so, and she's I don't know if your hose reaches that far. <laughs> so she said, some will be, someone will be in contact with you to reschedule the appointment. And I said, okay. okay. I think it's best. I, th I did. So I turned to my wife. I said, she vomit there <laughs> at the end of the cul-de-sac. That's what she was doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, my wife says, I think we're going to go with somebody else anyway. We had been impressed already with somebody else. Mm -hmm. So is that just a red flag or just a eh? It was kind of like eh, we had already pretty much decided okay. on who yeah. to go with. So she said, no, I, let's just forget the appointment. I said, okay. When they, I, I was handling this. Mm. <laughs> she said, you're handling every bit of this, you know, because of the. <laughs> Haven't we tried this before? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted another chance. I said, yeah. I, said I, I can do this. this. I, said, I can do it. I can do it. And, I can interview these guys. That's right. <laughs> right. Now, listen, have y'all seen The Purge? <laughs> it's where society turns on itself one day a year. You're allowed to kill whoever you want. I don't know how you're voting, but I can see it happening. <laughs> We're going to need steel shutters. <laughs> right. Yeah. So we had already pretty much decided. So uh, basically, this company, we we're going to say. It's out of the running. Out of the running. Okay. So an hour later, guy calls. And I said, you know what? We're just going to cancel this appointment entirely, and that'll be that. You know, I said, thank you for everything, but uh, we're. I said, we're just not going to do anything right now, so let's cancel. She vomited, didn't she? <laughs> 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 yeah, Leslie's new. She gets real nervous, and vomit's kind of her thing. <laughs> She gets real nervous before big calls. Yeah. <laughs> Especially around fresh pine straw. Don't hold it against her. Your house is just so immense. And <laughs> the thought of her commission. <laughs> well, unbeknownst to me. But you didn't, tell her, you didn't tell them the truth that you were going with no. it yeah. I just in another said, direction. We've decided okay. to not do anything right now. Okay. And I said, well, I'll call you if you want to make another part. Just cancel it. Just like you did with the New York Times. Mm-hmm. Uh, here's the only other thing. We had to pay $51 and something to secure the 
Appointment. Appointment. Yeah, you get, the, but you get it back at, to make sure you're home. They charge you fifty one dollars for really? the appointment, which was surprising to me. What? Yeah, just I, this one company. Just it's the only one. Yeah, of the wow. four or five we had out, they they, they, they they charge fifty one dollars just so you're home. I guess. So I say, but if you purchase, they not they that's gone. Okay, and they give it back. Well, even if you don't purchase, they give it back as long as the appointment is made. Okay. So I said, all right, cancel the appointment. So the guy says, I will. The next day, I get a text. We're ready to re, uh, you know, reschedule an appointment. And I text back, I don't, I no longer want the appointment. And then I said, I texted, how can I get, I want my $51 back. You know, she, we were here for the appointment. She vomited. <laughs> <laughs> Did you send the uh, puke emoji? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is there a checkbox for that? Yeah. <laughs> she vomited. I said, she vomited in the cul-de-sac. So mm -hmm. I want my $51 back. He writes back, call this number to get your $51 back. I called the number. They did the thing. I got my $51 back. It was all done. Now, that happened, like I said, a few, a couple of weeks ago. Now, about every other day, I either get a text or a call saying, when can we reschedule your appointment? I see this appointment's not been rescheduled. Would you like? And I keep saying, I text and I tell them over the phone. I said, we don't want the appointment. I've Are said, you speaking to a human? Three times I've spoken to a human. Three times they have texted me and I've texted back. Hmm. And they still. It sounds like the text might just be a bot. It, it could but be. Knows. But I'm getting like responses. I'll, and they, right. say, they say, what can we do to serve you better? And I said, nothing. We just mm -hmm. don't want. Don't vomit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Feel bad. Uh, bad first impression. Yeah. I mean, that's all I said. I was like, no, don't worry about it. I, it wasn't even anything their company did. It's just like we were impressed by another one. So we went with them. You know, yep. it's like that's all it is. So I said, nothing, we're just not doing it right now. You please take us off your list. We don't want to reschedule the appointment. Yesterday, I got another text. Now, this text said, would you like your $51 back? Now, I've already gotten it back, okay? <laughs> and I said... Did the angel on your shoulder appear? <laughs> and the devil on the other? I mean, it was just a text. And he said, we see you've canceled your appointment. Would you like, would you like your $51 back? Oh, no. And, uh, <laughs> take it, take it. They'll never know. Honesty's overrated. We're looking at 102. Well, I That's felt like... You know, I kind of felt like I've been through... For the, the harassment? The ringer yeah. lately for the harassment. So I said... Yeah, I would. <laughs> that crazy woman vomited. That's worth 51 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> so I just said, so I don't know where, that was yesterday. So I don't know how it stands now. A second 51 has not been credited to me yet, but mm. I'm keeping my eye on it. And I bet they call back or text again today. <laughs> For they, fraud. They keep, yeah. they keep They're going to come after you. Oh, that's maybe. But I, I can easily plead ignorance on that. I can say, oh, I didn't know. Oh, I have so much money. I have 51 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I was wearing my other pants. <laughs> I've never heard of getting charged before an right? appointment to I show up. I've never I'll, heard of that either. I wonder ah. if it's to just I ensure because so I bet they were getting so many people that you'd show up and they'd either weren't there mm -hmm. or they just wouldn't open the door because they didn't can't you know people that. don't like calling and canceling things right. But I mean, so, I, we, yes, but you've made an appointment. Made I mean, it's, yeah. Yeah. it's not like yeah. they're cold calling. I know they, could, they could call or text you know fifteen minutes as long as the drive is and say, look, I'm heading over. Mm -hmm. I, Will yeah, you be there? Are I, you there? I, I get that a lot. I, yeah, I same lot. with other yeah, companies. Yeah. But they charge. It was 50, It was an odd number. To, it must have been a percentage of whatever the bill was. It was fifty one dollars and forty cents yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. And uh, they have credited it back to me. But like the New York Times with you, they keep on texting yeah. and calling like as if they haven't canceled the appointment. But they have. It's like what is. That's sales, man. It's, it's, it's a, well, is it sales or is it just, is it just the it's, size it's a, of the company? It's a breakdown. It's a huge company. Oh, well, that's or, you know, and the, you know, the different branches don't mm -hmm. know what it, it this, this division be. doesn't know what this division's doing. But don't you find that with almost everything, like the New York Times, they'd never know. It's like, how can you not get it canceled? Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you've said to cancel it six or seven mm -hmm. times. How, but, why is it not? It's you coming know? from the same number when they text you. Yeah, I don't know. I should block it, it. It's just a number. If it really gets on your nerves. Yeah, maybe I could do that. But you know, I like to, I like to have interaction. I like to engage. I like that. I like that social intercourse, as Chris Dem calls it. I like yeah. that. That's why I answer the spam. You answer call. all the spam calls. I answered one last night. Did, Did you? you? Yeah, I got polled. Oh, really? really? About what? About uh, the politics of our state. Oh, really? And I mm -hmm. guess you gave them what for? Damn right I did. How long were you on the phone, Dave? I don't remember. I was really drunk. Yeah. Oh, we're kidding. <laughs> <laughs>